Greenhouse and Grayson, her son. My son Grayson Greenhouse is here with me today. Thanks for joining me on our Art Class TV show. I love it so much. Oh yeah, we're going to have a great time yeah. today. We have brought a really fun art project that you can do at home with your family. We're going to make salt dough clay. I love this project because it is so easy. It is very accessible and it is not expensive. Definitely not. Okay, tell me one supply you think we need for the salt dough clay. Salt. We need salt, got it. We need all-purpose flour. We have flour okay. and I'm guessing water. Water, we're gonna have to have water. We need a large mixing bowl and a spoon. Spoon. I have some measuring cups. And um, then I have a variety of Play-Doh toys for us to kind of do our creating with. So let's start by actually mixing up the salt dough. So this recipe um, calls for two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. So if you want to hold that over the bowl, we'll get this started. Let's see. I have two placemats here. Um, these are just laminated pieces of paper. You can use a placemat. I like to use something kind of plasticky when I start creating just because. It'll become Just so sticky. it doesn't stick it. Yeah, stick to it. Okay, see if I can get this open without making a mess. <laughs> it's always a mess, isn't it, Grayson? It's always a mess. Okay, two cups of this, right? That's one cup. Uh -huh. Pour that in. Yep. Now the nice thing about using the salt dough clay is, although some recipes say that you need to bake it in the oven, I have never baked mine in the oven. I just let it air dry. I let it sit somewhere where it's gonna get, you know, plenty of air. Um, maybe put a fan on it and it just dries, it just air dries. It gets yeah. real hard. Okay. What's the next step? Um, a cup of salt. Okay, need a cup of salt. Mm -hmm. Hold it over the bowl again. It's gonna be a lot of salt. Yeah, it's a lot of salt, isn't it? You can also adjust this to be a cup of flour. If you did a cup of flour, how much salt would you need? Um, half a cup. Yep, exactly. So you can like make it smaller. That's probably good. And dump it. Wow, that, that's satisfying. Uh, it sure is. You want to give it a little stir with the spoon? Perfect. Then we're going to start adding the water. And the recipe calls for a cup of water, but I put in just a little bit at a time and mix, because you don't always need a cup. So just put about half of that in there, Grayson. Perfect, and then set that to the side. Do you want to stir? Yep. Also, often I just get in there with my hands. Sometimes you just have to. I've also put all the ingredients in a Ziploc bag before when I'm doing this with like a big group of students. I remember um, one time whenever me and you had to do a group project together, we had a lot of it. We did, we used it and one time for a home yeah. a, a project to work on. And we had to start it really really early because if we didn't then we wouldn't have enough time to let it dry. That's true, yeah. And what what was that project that we used it for? We used it to recreate one of the islands that one of the, um, that some pioneers landed on and they disappeared. Pilgrims? Pilgrims. What was that? Do you remember what that was called? It's, um, it's been a while since. It's been a while. <laughs> let me see this. I think we might need a bit more water. Yep, I think you're right. So you can also put all the ingredients into a Ziploc bag and just let the students kind of, mis or, your, or your kids, massage the Ziploc bag and it's a little less messy than going straight in with your hands if you don't have a spoon. We did that in class once and it was really fun. We just used the Ziploc bag and then we ended up getting like to keep it. Like massage it, yeah. Yes, and if you have leftover air dry clay, you can keep it for a week or two in a Ziploc bag. 
Let me Ooh. take a let me take a try. Okay. Starts to get really thick really quickly. It is. It's getting really thick really quickly. So in art class in my schools, I do a clay project every year. We use the kind of clay, yep, more water, that you have to put in the kiln. This is not that type of clay, which lends itself to more of like a home project. Make sure we get all the sides of it. You could do like a topographic map. That's what we did with your yeah, uh, and as well, social studies project. Before you let it dry, you can um, like stick things in it to make it printed. Oh yeah, do something like that. Yep. And then um, even once it dries, you can paint it. Yeah. What what kind of paint can we use on it? Do you know? We used definitely not watercolor paint. What would happen if you used watercolor paint? You think it would water down it again, and then you yeah, wouldn't be able apart. to let it dry. Yeah. We used acrylic paint, and then if you want to really seal it, if you're going to make like a ornament or something out of it, you can use Mod Podge or some other kind of sealant. I'm going to just put a little bit more. Flour yeah, in this there. probably needs a bit more flour. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just just a bit. And then just like if you're making dough, you can always put flour on your yeah on the table. Sometimes the recipe all always isn't correct, so you just use it. Yeah, you gotta different. be flexible, right, dude? Okay, let me Ooh. see this. Oh, I think we're getting really close. What mm -hmm. are you gonna make? I am probably gonna make um, a fossil um, picture of fossils and stuff. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Which will use that same sticking stuff in it and then pulling out to yeah. make Yeah, make like an impression, yeah? Yeah. That's a great idea. So you can make something flat with this. Can I try to get just a little bit? Yep. Take it out and see what happens. See if it's ready. Oh yeah, that's... Test, test around a little piece of it. It's definitely ready. It kind of looks like pizza dough. Oh, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't put it in your mouth. It's going to be too salty. It, it's very salty. Very salty. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a piece out. You take a chunk out. Okay. And then if you need a little flour... Do you need a little flour? I'll take a little flour. Just a little bit there, yeah? Okay. So you can create um, flat things with this. You can create three-dimensional things. Um, I've done like little pumpkins, little bowls. Right? There's lots of things you can do with this. You might want to work on kneading it a little bit. Like we said before, like social studies project, topographical map. Yeah. What did you do that time with Ms. Mitz with this? Do you remember? I believe we did like volcanoes. Volcanoes, yeah. That well, was something cool. like volcanoes, some kind of mountain forms or something like that. You could put um, some and as well food coloring in here. Yeah. If you didn't want to paint it after, you could always put food coloring in here. Okay. So I brought rolling pins so you could roll. This is when you definitely want something plasticky for it to lay on because if you were rolling it like on paper it'd stick and then it would stick yeah another thing about this is that if you if you're trying to make something i wouldn't say you shouldn't you should do anything intricate with this but if you do if let's say i have like this little piece on my hand and i want to add it here that's once it sticks on it's not coming off it stuff sticks to it pretty good yeah and it's like it's not coming off and once it does come off, it's not coming off in the way you intend. Oh, right. Okay, so one of the things I brought in our little bin here is some dinosaurs. dinos. So you could press these in. I like how this shape is kind of organic. Kind of looks yeah. more fossil-like. And as well, it's really fun to play with because Unlike regular clay, once you don't want to use those pieces anymore, you can just take it, fold it over, and you can do that as much as you want until it dries. Yeah, keep playing with it. Yeah. That's pretty Gotta cool right there. Really push that in there. Mm -hmm. If it's too sticky, you can always add more what? Flour. Flour. And you might need some more flour. There you go. See here. So you do that. Just keep you playing just with it. 
yeah, just roll it up and flip. Cool. Oh, it's all coming out now. Can you think of any other, there you go. Can you think of any other, like, thing you would want to make with this? Um, might make like a pinch pot or something. A pinch pot's a great idea. I'm gonna try to make a pinch pot. Christmas ornament? Christmas ornament? When you were in preschool, we made little Easter eggs out of these. I wish I still mm. had that. Maybe I have it somewhere. Don't Probably look. somewhere. You <laughs> keep a lot of my stuff. I keep a lot of things. Watch this. This is gonna be cool. Let's see if Ooh. this works. I brought a piece of doily. You think it's gonna make an impression if I roll it in there? I don't know. I don't know either. I've never actually done this before. It's always fun to make new tests and experiments. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You never know what's going to happen. Let's see what happens when I peel this off. Oh, look! Oh, my God. Ah, that looks really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, what are the steps to make look a pinch that. pot? And then what if I... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on about the pinch pot. I'm too excited about this. Okay. That's okay. True. Okay, look. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so far the pinch part is not really working out because... Too floppy. It's too floppy. Look at that, though. It looks like a pizza dough that you could just spin on your finger. <laughs> so there you go. Let that dry on a flat place or like on a tray, on a cookie tray. I have an idea. What if we do... That would make the cutest little ornament. Oh, it would. What if we take something like this and then fold everything up around it and then we squish it all down, and then we could like have some way cut it out. We could yeah, there you go. Uh huh. Like this. See what happens. And then cut it out. See here, if we cut it in just the correct spot right over, then. Can you see the fossil inside there? Um, Is it like the layers? It's like the layers. We're learning about fossils in class right now. Pretty cool. That did not work. I'm gonna see if I can do a pinch pop. Okay. So I'm it's really too floppy. It's really floppy if you don't what, do it. I wonder if we left it to dry, air dry just for a little while. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Okay. So I've got this ball, this sphere, and I'm gonna pinch it. I'm making a mountain. If we make a mountain. Well, that turned out okay for me. Maybe hmm. I just have the right. Just the amount of flour. Yeah, I think, yeah. And you'd have to definitely let that dry, put a fan on it so for a few days. So let's make this dude into the, he is above all else on his mountain. So if you let these dry, again, a lot of the recipes online call for baking them, but I've never actually baked them and I've had a lot of success with I just remember letting them even, air dry. Even whenever we did my really big project with the um, island, we never we never baked that. No, we just let it air dry because we we laid yeah. it right on your piece of um, poster paper. Yeah, the foam core. Yeah, yep. so we couldn't we couldn't or else it would. What was it called, Crease? Out. Mm. It was like a oh, Roanoke Island. <laughs> That's it. Will we talk about Crease? I don't know. We. <laughs> It's been a while. It was a socialized project, and it was about the pilgrims. Uh, not the pilgrims, but some pilgrims. Some type of um, people who traveled from the Europe area to um, the colonies, and they ended up um, going off their course and go to a different island, yeah. which they set up a small base for. But then um, it. Their like captain, the leader, yeah, um, got hit by explosives. He survived, what? but got injured and had to go back. Go back where? Like, back to the Europe. Okay. So for the next three, four, five years, he was gone trying to get back. And whenever he came back, he said he saw the letter C K engraved into one of the posts. What did that stand for? No, it wasn't C-K, it was Crow. Crow. C-R-O, Crow. Mm -hmm. They were gone. They were gone. How do you like that social safe lesson, everybody? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think anyone uh, really cared for that. We didn't quite get it, but 
We did use the salt dough clay for that project. That's mm. what I remember. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this into a bowl and see if I can't make something out of this. I could add food. Slog? I could add food coloring, like I said, or I can paint this Do with we acrylic have any food color? afterwards. No, I didn't bring anything to add color to no. this. I've never tried to color it after the fact with like markers or anything. I've you only might need just a bit more from here. Yeah, help yourself. I've only ever used acrylic paint after. I have an idea. Let's see here because this one's really flowery and yep. then the other one's kind of less flowery. Less flowery. So if I combine just the less flowery with a lot of flowery, it would might work better. Okay, there. That I'm really into this. Let me now try I'm going to use this little dish. This is just a plastic bowl. Ooh, I have an idea. Ooh. Ooh, mom. Corn dog? Corn dog. Let's see what happens if I put this in here, if I can get it unstuck. Ooh, that looks really nice and flat. What if I just make these into toes? Well, my shape didn't hold up, but I think if I formed this inside this bowl, then after it dries, um, it would pop out of there. Let's see. What you looking for, buddy? I mean, I'm just going to make sure we have everything that we could have. <laughs> what are you doing now? I don't know. Being creative? Sam, so just being creative. Let's see here. If I, I'm going to make a giant foot. A giant foot. I'm still trying to make my bowl. Let me try to make a bowl. So, food coloring, let it dry, or paint afterwards, seal it with Mod Podge, or some other kind of clear acrylic oh, medium glue. on top. Yeah, you could even do like maybe a watered even, down glue. Yeah, something that, maybe some clear glue. Clear glue might yeah, work. Yeah, Elmer's glue is ends up clear in the end. So Did you take my bowl? I took your bowl. <laughs> I took your bowl because I'm trying to make a bowl. Let's see. Let's see here, I just need a. Here, if you just stretch it out really far. Is that gonna work? It might work. There you go. That is better than mine. Okay, let's see if I just start removing this these axis pieces. There you go. And then if I start rolling these just in a straight line. And then I could add them to the rest. If you seal these, they definitely last a lot longer. After it's dry, if you'll do the Mod Podge or um, spray it with like a clear acrylic spray, you're gonna have something that lasts a lot longer, especially if you're trying to do a Christmas ornament or something that you wanna keep. Ooh, mom, I have an idea. What about a baby could hand I see, print? Could I see that? Give me that baby hand. No, <laughs> that's too big. Uh, that's that's oh, not. That would be so cute though, a little baby handprint. But watch this if you took this. Watch him. You could stamp anything you want in there. Okay. Well, I have an idea. What? I might have to pull out my. Okay, kitchen. look, we could play for days. So, again, to repeat the uh, supplies, you're going to need the all purpose flour any all-purpose flour, regular salt, how many cups of flour? Um, two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Although, add more or less if needed. Yep. Two cups of flour, a cup of salt, a cup of water, we may have added a little too much water, and then, um, Stir. I made a face. Oh yeah. Stir it up. Add extra flour as needed. 
and then you can just create and create and create something that will eventually harden, which can later be painted. I would love to see if you create anything with your family, take a picture of it and post it or message me on Instagram or Facebook at G House Studio so I can see what you're making. I think this is such a creative medium for kids to play with and explore. You could go on a uh, nature hike and find leaves and press leaves into them, kind of like I did uh, with the doily. You could press, I brought seashells, you could press seashells into this. You could do, oh that, I love that. And then just let things dry. If you wanna be able to hang something up later, you can always, you know, poke a hole in it. Don't poke it too close to the edge. Um, I have seen some really cute things where people take the alphabet noodles, like noodles that have all the alphabet, and they stamp names in with the alphabet noodles. So all kinds of cre ways to get creative with the salt dough clay. And <laughs> making a face mask, painting it later, or adding food coloring to it now. Um, any other thoughts, G-Man? Mm. Don't try to make a pinch pot bowl, because it does not work. <laughs> Don't try to make a pinch pot bowl. It kind of falls apart. Vi pretty quickly, yeah. I think, I think if you let this kind of sit out for a little bit mm -hmm. and get a little bit harder, mm -hmm. I think it would work. Maybe we should test that out. Yeah. And do you remember what we do with this if we want to save it? We... Like if we want to not let it air dry? We... Do something with it. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Put it in a Ziploc zip bag. Zip it up. Or you could put it in like a Tupperware, put the mm -hmm. lid on it, play with it again another day. But, um, you know, if you want it to dry out, if you want to make an ornament out of it, leave it sitting out overnight. And you'll have a special art project to keep mm -hmm. forever. Paint it, seal And it. if you make something like this, make sure that no one tries to eat it because it looks like food. It's, it looks like a biscuit. I made a biscuit out of so I'm starting to feel hungry. Me too. Okay. Thank you for joining us today for art class. Thank you for joining me today, Grace and Greenhouse. Thank you. Will you come again? Maybe. <laughs> what should we do? What should we do if you come next time? Mm. What kind of project? Mm. We'll have to think about that. We're gonna think about it. I like painting. This was your idea, though. The the clay, yes. the salt of the clay, was your idea. So something else you like? Something a little more messy? Yeah. Marble art, where you roll the art with the marbles. That'd Ooh, be I, or like the paint can art. What's the paint can art? I'll tell you about it later. Oh, where you hang the paint can yeah. and like let it swirl. I don't think we could do that. Hydro dipping. Have you done any hydro dipping? Um, I don't think I ever have. I learned how to do that. Mr. Richardson taught me how to do the hydro dip. One second, let me. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.